letters for a nation from Jawaharlal Nehru to his chief ministers. Falling out with China and it would be very unfair for a great country like China not to be in the Security Council. India is not anxious to enter the Security Council at this stage, even though as a great country she ought to be there. There has been no offer, formal or informal, of this kind to UNSC. Some vague references have appeared in the press about it, which have no foundation in fact. No question of a seat being offered and India declining it. Letters for a nation from Jawaharlal Nehru to his chief ministers. Okay, this is quoting. Correct. Informally, suggestions have been made by the United States that China should be taken into the United Nations but not in the Security Council and that India should take her place in the Security Council. We cannot, of course, accept this as it means falling out with China and it would be very unfair for a great country like China not to be in the Security Council. We have therefore made it clear to those who suggested that we cannot agree to this suggestion. We have even gone a little further and said that India is not anxious to enter the Security Council at this stage, even though as a great country she ought to be there. The first step to be taken is for China to take her rightful place and then the question of India might be considered separately." Unquote. Huh. This is your Prime Minister saying this. What Paji you said. Saying, huh? Yeah. So now what I'll do, I still have four minutes left. Yes. I will use them to come back to your question, uh, what you started with, but I will give this next floor to you so that you can expand on this and teach all of us, especially Tehseen, as to what the truth is. The fact of the matter is that it shows a kind of a naivety as far as international relations is concerned, yes. there are no friends in international relations, yes. right? No country is a friend of yours. Your own country is your only friend. Your own country's interests are the only interests you have to protect. No other country's interests do you have to protect. If the Prime Minister of India did not understand that, I will not accuse him of betrayal or treachery or any such thing. That's nonsense. But I would certainly accuse him of a certain amount of naivety as far as international relations are concerned or this, you know, overweening kind of an ambition to appear like a statesman. So I accuse him of that. Uh, the other thing is, and Abhijit, I think, made the correct point that mostly what happens is that people will sound you out informally. Hmm. They will ask you that we are planning to do this. Will you be on board? How, what do you think about it? After that, they go on to the uh, sure, there's an stage. entire mechanism in place exactly. before it goes. Haan, but before... Agar aap, aap, agar if I start the process yeah. and then in front of the world stage you come out and say, ke, nahi, I'm not interested in what yeah. you're offering me, yeah. then I make a jackass of myself. Yeah. So this was a blunder yeah. of, of great proportions by the first prime minister. Uh, but it was out of naivety, not out of malice. Let me read Nehru in Parliament. There has been no offer, formal or informal, of this kind to UNSC. Uh, some vague references have appeared in the press about it, which have no foundation in fact. The composition of the Security Council is prescribed by the UN Charter, according to which certain specified nations have permanent seats. No change or addition can be made to this without an amendment of the Charter. There is, therefore, no question of a seat being offered and India declining it. Our declared policy is to support the admission of all nations qualified for UN membership. This is in context of the Russian, um, uh, the Russian ambassador to India offering this to Nehru. But uh, Nehru asks him that will the US, because you also need the US support, will the Western bloc accept it? So that would not have happened. This is in context of that. In the other context that Nehru says, he says, look, if we were to go ahead with this, this creates a divide between China and India. The and, new China that has to come good in. relations with China. Yeah, very the new, which he was <laughs> trying to mend. Now you can again historically say, look, he made a blunder. I agree with that. Click here to watch the full episode.